Hello, good evening. This session is on Tosca training. I'll be explaining you about what is the content and what are we going to do today. I have been in this IT industry for nine plus years as Tosca expert. I am also a certified specialist trainer and have conducted training for more than 50 participants. I have multiple domain experiences like insurance, cards and payments, and so on. I have worked on multiple technologies like SAP, tech clients, web applications, system extents on mainframes and APIs. I've completed 10 plus certifications, with, which includes specialist, engineering level certifications, and a higher level certifications. The scope of demo would be on the main sections of Tosca, which we call as module section. Uh, in module section, what we will be learning is on how we can steer different controls, the different methods of steering, what are the properties which we should consider while steering the modules, the attributes. And also we will in detail see what are the different methods of the parameters. In test case section, we will see how to create a self-contained test case, which would mean how to create an independent test case, how to create a data-driven test case, reusable test blocks, what are the parameters that we can add, which we call as test case parameter, business parameter, and so on in test case section. Test design section, we will mostly see how to create instances, test sheets and attributes, which will cover most part of data-driven framework. In execution section, we will see how to execute the test cases, what is the importance of executing test cases in this execution section, how to view the logs, how to get reports, how to do failure analysis, of the failed test cases, and also how to see the screenshots, how to get the test evidences of the past test cases. So what we will be covering as most in this training. This training curriculum is not just designed for basic learning, but is, it also satisfies all the points that is to be covered as a project perspective. So learning from uh, just how to uh, do the things doesn't make uh, a good learning. We have to go in detail and see what are the important points that is considered when you're creating a project or when you're creating a test case, right? So that's why uh, we would not just for learning purpose, we will create or we will uh, learn each topic, but we will also go through each topic and specifically see how to create them, what are the usages, advantages of using them, and how we can reduce the efforts of uh, manually creating test case and why are these topics all important. The curriculum that will be covered would be modules. In modules, we will see how various methods of test object is identified. Uh, various objects, uh, various methods would mean uh, the main four methods of identifying by properties, identifying by an anchor, identifying by an index and an image. So how to identify each element through these four methods, four types of identification. We will also be looking into which properties are dynamic, which properties are static, which we should include when we are creating a unique or uh, selecting a unique method. We will also be looking into which engines are used for steering these modules. We'll also see what are the properties after we save the modules, what are the properties which should be considered, which are important, or if we have to change anything into the modules. In test case section, we will see creation of test case. This creation of test case uh, would be both manual test case as well as automation test case. We will see how to add each test step in test step. It uh, not just mean adding a test step, but also test step value, how to add different action methods, 
what are the different action modes available and when to use them. Action modes are very important when we are uh, putting any value to a test step because that action mode defines what is the action to be done on the test step, right? So that's why action modes are very important. Uh, the main action modes also we will be looking into, which is uh, action mode buffer, constraint, and wait on. So in action mode, the next topic that we will be considering, we will consider the understanding of various action modes and also usages of them and how we can use them and which point we can use them in the uh, system under test. Table steering is a very important topic because uh, this has been very critical as well as a very important topic. Table steering. Uh, the tables that we get, it is very important to understand how to select row and how to select column in a table and how to put a value or select a value from a table. Uh, not just selecting a value, it is uh, there are many scenarios wherein we also have to get the result count, get the row count, column count. There are many things that we can do uh, into a table of you know, buffering a value in a table. Uh, and what are the different um, add-on topics which we can consider in table steering? Uh, how to put generic tables there, embedded controls there. So these are all would be conclude, added in or uh, given as a understanding point for table steering. Dynamic dates and expression. Uh, this is also very important because adding a value, uh, we would always not add a static value. There are, there are a lot of scenarios wherein we add dynamic expressions, dynamic values. So to get that, the format, the format of dynamic date that is to be added or dynamic expressions, dynamic value, it is very important. So the format, how we can add the expressions, uh, what all things is to be included when we are uh, adding an expression. An example would be a random uh, phone number that we have to add. It has to be 10 digit. So what is the format to add? and how easy it will be if you use this method of uh, dynamic expressions to generate the values. So this is the automation. This eases also the calculations of random expression and so on. Libraries have been very important topic. Uh, libraries means that these are reusable test blocks, which uh, reduces the maintenance of the test cases, which reduces the efforts that we will be putting for automation of the test cases. So libraries are uh, very important and it is very important also to understand how to create libraries and how to maintain them. The values in the libraries can be created uh, or can be added in two different methods, that is business parameter and through test configuration parameter. Test configuration parameter is, um, not just used in libraries, it is all can be used uh, anywhere, wherever value is included. But business parameter is very important to understand. So that we will be covering as a curriculum, as a topic in this uh, curriculum, in the training. And uh, with this libraries creation, we will uh, very precisely understand how to add it in the test case and what are the usages of libraries and the importance of them. In the next topic, that will be module modification. Module modification is also very important because uh, it is not just the new modules that we will be modifying, but also if there are any existing modules that uh, there are uh, a necessity wherein we have to modify them. So we should understand how to exist or how to modify the existing modules. So that is one, a very important topic because module plays a very important role when we are automating a test case in Tosca. Module is a representation of uh, the screens or uh, under test, the system under test. And uh, modules are the converted readable Tosca format uh, screens, right? So that's why these are very important. Merging module, value range, dynamic ID, these are all uh, the topics that we will be covering in module modification because we also do module merge, existing module and new module, how to merge them how to add the value range if there are any drop downs or any list items that is available and so on. Loops and conditions, uh, the next topic, which is loops and conditions in here. So uh, we will mostly be seeing how to use if and else conditions, do and while conditions, how to add repetitions within the loops, how we will be adding loops in a library and so on. 
execution list usage of execution list is very important because execution list is where we get all the evidences of all the executions that we do and uh, we get all the log infos failure analysis can be done failures can be checked and corrected only through the execution list requirement section is also one of the very important uh, section in tosca here we see all the requirements if it is an agile uh, method that you would uh, will be automating or if it is a waterfall requirement has everything in it so we do not need to have any any different test management tool to create requirements and to save them so tosca does everything and we should understand how to also add requirements how to link our uh, test cases execution list tcds so on to get the complete coverage multi user environment it has always been a, a good topic multi user environment to understand how to use our test cases in different environments we should make our test cases that good enough that it should be able to execute or it should be executed in any of the environment that is expected so that understanding is important so that a person whenever you're automating a test case your test case should be that good enough to be executed in different environments recovery scenarios cleanup scenarios uh, these are all in these are all mandatory scenarios to be included in each test case that will be automated to have less maintenance and more user friendly test cases test case design section is also one of the important uh, section wherein uh, from this we pass the datas to our test case we create data driven test case uh, the data driven test cases is uh, the new or is the one to be always created this reduces the efforts of creation of test case and um, when we say data driven we create a template and a template instance and in that we add all our test values from the test sheets and we create instances so how to handle test case design section so that all the test cases that is created are uh, or passes the uh, correct executions so for to understand that we should uh, have a good understanding over the test case design section excel manipulation is also an important uh, topic which should be in the curriculum and uh, also a known knowledge because excel is uh, mainly used in most of the uh, test cases or most of the projects wherein uh, we also have a standard modules for excel uh, excel manipulations uh, how to fetch the values from excel and um, how to read value how to insert and result into excel so those all will be uh, learned here in this excel manipulation topic standard tbox modules it is always very important to know what are the standard uh, modules available on what are the usages of it because those modules would be the most frequent modules used uh, while we are preparing any test case while we are automating any test case so the usages of uh, standard modules is uh, very important the standard modules will be available when we install tosca as a standard tc tsu uh, which we have to include uh, when we are creating a workspace so that we see all the standard modules uh, that is predefined and we will be also covering api testing here uh, we will be also covering how to create and uh, or how to verify the response and re res requests that we are sending uh, by, by via the api and uh, we will also see how to create a json uh, json test case and so on so these are all the topics that we will be covering in this uh, training and uh, we will be in detail discussing on this topics and uh, this would be very helpful for uh, the initial understanding of tosca as well as at an advanced level or basic as well as advanced concepts of tosca automation which will help in uh, not just automating a test case but also will be very helpful in clearing the certifications and uh, successfully uh, getting a good uh, marks in there 
so what all additional topics that we will be covering as a part of curriculum uh, would be basics of tdm uh, tdm is nothing but test data management uh, which is one of the feature of tosca uh, wherein uh, all the test data uh, can be stored and reused so this is one method that we will be also discussing tql is uh, similar to sql uh, like how uh, in database we search uh, through select method uh, and so on. So Tosca has its own query language that is TQL, Tosca query language. So we will also be uh, discussing or uh, getting an understanding of TQL. TC shell and custom controls is also would be an additional topic that we would be considering in this training. Additional to the training, we would also be providing you web materials, uh, the links of all the web materials on the topics that we will be, we will be covering in this training and not just that we will be also sharing the recording that we will uh, record during the session so that uh, this recording you can keep it for your future purpose future reference and can be uh, used anytime you want the projects that we will be covering as a part of training would be automating tricenter's web shop wherein we would be automating a particular flow here in this automation we will be covering all the topics uh, that uh, we that we have considered so that all topics would be covered while we are automating them like creating a data driven test case how, creating a library test case design section how to, how we'll be creating a test sheet for this particular flow so those all would be covered in this project second project that we will be covering is a project on an api automation so in this we will automate api test case which will be both SOAP as well as REST based API. This API, we will also uh, be executing and showing the whole process, or we will be creating and executing them to complete a whole process of test case as well as execution part. What we need for the initial setup of Tosca, we would need what would be the main system requirements, are we would need a machine wherein uh, Windows 7 or above is installed. These are the re prerequisites as well as system requirements. So when you're installing Tosca, make sure you have these prerequisites and you have Tosca ready in your machine. We will be also providing mock interview. We will also conduct mock interview to be well prepared before you apply for a job and also to understand if you have any knowledge gap and you're going good with the curriculum. In addition to that, we will also be providing Tosca interview questions based on the experiences uh, so that you have good knowledge and good grasp over the Tosca tool. What are the main certifications that is to be completed are AS1, which is called, uh, which is Automation Specialist Level 1, Automation Specialist Level 2. These are the two basic certifications that is to be completed. Uh, this is self-paced. We will be also activating the certification and uh, we will be going through the topics. Uh, these are all specialist level certifications, which is mandatorily to be completed in order to uh, do the rest of the certifications. So AS1, AS2 are the basic. Uh, then you can uh, select which path you want to go and then go ahead with the other certifications. The highest certification that Tricentis provides is Test Architect Level 1 certification, which is the highest uh, to accomplish or to get register to that. You, it is expected to complete Automation Specialist Level 1, 2 certification, Test Design Specialist Level 1 and Level 2 certification, Automation Engineering Level 1 certification. So these are uh, the mandatory certifications that is to be completed. Apart from that, there are uh, many other certifications which is available in uh, the Tricentis website as well, uh, which is Automation Engineering Level 2, TQL Query Expertise. If you want to get expertise in a database, that is also one of the certification that you can complete and so on. So once you complete AS1 and AS2, uh, automation specialist level of understanding uh, will be 
you will be having that understanding as an automation specialist if you complete also uh, TDS 1 and TDS 2 along with AE1, then uh, you would be uh, having a better understanding as an automation engineer. And to get uh, certified as a test architect, you will have to complete all the certifications as we said earlier. So thank. So on completion of the certification, we would also be providing you a certificate of achievement with your name, which will be very useful uh, for you for your job search and also for um, you to have this achievement, you will feel that you have completed your training and uh, you have that knowledge, expected knowledge. Thank you for attending the, this demo. If you have any feedback, if you want to uh, contact us for any queries related to course, scope, schedule, cost and payment options, please contact on the given number or you can also drop an email to us uh, with your questions. We will reply you back. Thank you.